Hi everybody, TK here. Hey, today I'd like to talk to you about changing the strings on your guitar. You know, you don't have to run off to the music store to have your strings changed. You can do it yourself. It's very easy to do, and I can show you how. The first thing you're going to need are a few basic tools. One of which is a pair of good wire cutters. Uh, this is an old pair of side cutters that uh, I borrowed from my dad one day and never returned. I uh, hope he's not watching this. Um, but get yourself a good pair of wire cutters. It's an essential tool. You must have them. I think a lot of the music stores now, they're actually selling a commercially made uh, string cutter designed specifically for cutting strings. Must have. The next thing you're going to need, which is absolutely critical, I cannot overemphasize the importance of this little tool here. This is called a Sidewinder. Now, it's available at your music store, a couple of bucks. I suggest you get three or four of them. It's an invaluable tool and you'll see why in a little bit. And why get three or four of them? Because if you're like me, you're going to set this doggone thing down and forget where you, forget where you put it. And it's going to come time to change your strings and you're not going to have your sidewinder. And let me tell you, if you don't have this little tool, changing strings is a miserable task. Okay, the next thing you're going to need um, is a good set of guitar strings. You know nowadays there's just a ton of different product out there. Um, they come in all kinds of colors and flavors, but what I have found over the years, the best string on the market right now, the biggest bang for your buck, are the DR strings. Now, the reason I say this is, is because these strings um, are very durable. Um, they hold their, their tonality, they stay in tune, um, and they're relatively cheap compared to the other products out there. Um, and they're made in the USA. So look into the DR string. It's a great all-around string and you won't be disappointed. Now, let's talk a little bit more about string gauge. Um, when I talk about string gauge, I'm talking about the actual thickness, the diameter of the string itself. Now, depending on what kind of music you're playing, and most of you are probably going to be playing blues, some rock, some country stuff, you're going to want a light gauge string. So my recommendation is, is you use the gauge 10 DR string. That's a gauge 10 DR string. That will work for you, especially if your, your, your guitar technique includes a lot of bending, um, pull-offs, hammer-ons, these sorts of things. Um, this string will perform the best for you. Now the next thing you're going to need is an invaluable tool is a tuner of some sort. Now this is a small Korg tuner that I picked up at the local music store here. I think I paid about 30 bucks for it. Um, it's a very good tuner. Uh, it's lightweight, it's portable, um, it's very accurate, and you're going to have to have it. You're going to want to have it. It doesn't have to be this, but a tuner of some sort you must have. Um, I like the Korg because, like I said, it's just easy to carry. It's inexpensive, and it gets the job done. Okay, let's move on to the actual changing of the strings.